Hey guys, it's Tom. So in previous videos, I've talked about all the good things that the evolution of combat will do for RuneScape, and having played the beta for, well, the length of roughly about a day, so I haven't played it much because I've not had much chance to get on, but today I'm going to switch things up a bit and I'm going to tell you what I think are the bad things about the beta in its current state and the things that need changing in order to make things better in general. And the footage in the background is just me and James doing a few duels against each other. So the first thing that I encountered when I was playing the beta is that there's far too many abilities for melee. Uh, there seems to be a bit of duplication between the abilities for attack and strength. And I just think generally there needs to be less basic abilities because there's so many that you could potentially use and there's not enough room on your action bar. And that's actually another point that I want to get to, is that the action bar, the, you only have one action bar that's got 12 slots on it, and that just plain isn't enough. I think everyone else could agree with this. Because, well, 12 slots, and you've got how many abilities? There's like tens, hundreds of abilities, maybe. And then they say you can use the action bar for inventory items, but... Once you've put all your abilities on the bar, there's just no room for inventory items like food or potions or whatever. So I think they need to sort of uh, reduce the amount of abilities or just perhaps give us more action bars that we can place on the screen at one time and be able to bind more buttons to those as well. So I think that would be pretty good. And the next point I want to get onto is the ability book. Now for you guys that don't know, the mage book in its current state in the live game at the moment uh, you have sort of lots of icons depicting each spell but in the beta you have sort of like a list that you scroll down and you have like tabs to switch between uh, ability types so you have a tab for mage, a tab for range and defense, strength etc and you have to sort of scroll down to access each ability and I just think that's a bit clunky and awkward I think they should design it to look a bit more like the current mage book. So like you have icons depicting each ability and when you hover over it it'll tell you what that ability is and what it does etc. It'll just make it more sort of user friendly to uh, find spells and such. So the next thing I want to get onto is the targeting system and I think that this targeting system that's in at the minute is kind of unfriendly towards melee because you can't charge into combat. Well, for those of you who don't know, there's an attack ability which allows you to charge at an enemy just instantly from a quite a distance. And at the minute, you can't really charge into combat from out of combat. And I think you should be able to, but I don't know, it could be intentional that you can't just run straight into combat as melee. But who knows, I think that should be changed though. And also, I found that switching targets was just a little bit unresponsive and just too slow in general. Because I was able to do a fight caves attempt quite easily with range. And I found that when I was trying to f uh, switch targets, it just didn't switch targets immediately. I had to click on the monster several times in order to actually start attacking it. So I just think that should be changed as well. And the last little gripe that I found with the beta was that, I, well, it's not. this isn't just to do with the beta, I think they should put this into the game in its current state as well. I think we should be able to actually customise the UI. Uh, I think we should be able to place our inventory and sort of resize the inventory if we wanted to, so that we can place the inventory more towards the middle of the screen where our character is. And we should be able to do it with other elements of the UI as well, such as your... Yeah, prayers and stuff like that and I think being able to customize the UI would help the problem with fixed screen as well because at the moment in the beta for fixed screen you can barely see what you're doing because it's all taken up with big massive UI elements so I think for fixed screen you should actually be able to remove certain elements of the UI such as being able to remove the minimap because you don't necessarily need that and I think you should be able to make the chat box smaller in fixed screen as well. I just think that would help give more visibility to the actual game, which is what Jagex want to focus on. They want us to look at the game and not the UI, so they should probably work on that. And as I've said before, I think we should have more action bars, but we should be able to place these action bars on different areas of the screen, 
So, for example, we could have like our main action bar with all our main abilities on, like towards the bottom as it currently is. But I think we should we should be able to move that, and then we should be able to add more action bars to like the side of the screen, so that that could consist of inventory items or stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. In its current state, though, I think the beta is looking very promising. I've really thoroughly enjoyed the combat and trying to learn new tricks and stuff like that. And, yeah, I think I'll end it there. So tell me what you guys think of the beta if you've played it and whether you think it's good or not and what you'd also change and if you agree with what I would change. And I'll see you in the next video.